Hey, what's going on everybody? Dr. Siz here. So today I'm gonna give you my COVID public health briefing that is far, far different than anything you've seen or have ever seen and it is so very important, all right? So first we're gonna talk about how amazing you are and how amazing your body is. We need to understand how awesome we are and in the end I'm gonna give you some really good practical tips to help your body function better, boost your immune system, just overall feel better, all right? So let's start off with just how amazing you are, okay? So travel back in time with me, this is a little uncomfortable, but many years ago, your mom and dad had a really good night. And during that really good night, they made you, right? And you started off as one individual cell inside your mother's room, just, in womb, just one cell. And inside of that one cell is a blueprint, the gene code, the recipe to make the human body. Now, somehow there was an intelligence within your mom that took that one cell and split it to two, to four, to eight, to 16, 32, and so on until 35 to 40 trillion cells later, there's a human body inside the womb, right? In, of those 35 to 40 trillion cells, there's like 200 different types of cells, all with the same gene code, all came from the same single cell. I mean, there are cells inside your stomach that could dissolve razor blades. And then you have your skin cells and eye cells and hair cells and all of this. Somehow there's an intelligence within you that split those cells at the perfect time in the perfect number in the perfect order to create the human body. I mean, it's amazing. Your body is so amazing that if I took your blood vessels out and, and attached them, they'd wrap around the world twice. Right, your, body, your heart is pump, pumping about 2,000 gallons, you know, like a gallon of milk, 2,000 gallons of blood per day. Like if I, if I took the DNA out of your cells, it'd wrap around Pluto and back multiple times. I mean, your body is making like 50,000 cells per minute. It's, it's astonishing how amazing your body is. And we don't appreciate that. Where it's like, how is this stuff happening? How are you hearing and seeing and listening and tasting? Like all the things happening around you, it's, it's, it's amazing. Now, think about this. I'm sure some of you have seen that show, The Property Brothers, yes? Have you seen that show? Women, I know you have, right? They talk about backsplashes and all this crazy stuff that doesn't make any sense to me, but you've seen it. Now, bear with me. Visualize you, the perfect home. Let's say you have the blueprint for the most perfect home ever. And then the Property Brothers, they hire a construction crew that just like this perfect construction crew. They never screw up. So you have the beautiful blueprint. You have this amazing, hardworking construction crew. And then you start ordering materials to build your home, right? And you start ordering the materials, but the materials that come in and some are broken. You got rotten wood, you got bent nails. Some of the windows are just broken out. And then some materials are missing altogether. Could they still build you a home? Well, of course they could. They can still build you that home. Would it be perfect and amazing? Would it match the blueprints? Well, no. Would it be like malfunction and be more susceptible to storms and outside things because it's weaker, not built strong? Well, of course, right? It's the same thing with our bodies. So our gene code is literally, it's a blueprint. It's just the recipes to make us. And then this innate intelligence, that intelligence that took one cell and somehow turned it into a human being inside your mother's womb. Or think about this, how does your body know when that baby is born to just start to produce colostrum? And then three days later is breast milk. And then it keeps producing breast milk and until the baby is two to three years old and it just stops. And then it gets ready to make, I mean, it's so amazing. Or like every month an egg is released, right? Waiting to be fertilized. It's just such an amazing thing. But back to my analogy, right? So your gene code is like a blueprint, okay? You're the, the innate intelligence that makes a human being, that's the construction crew, right? It's amazing. The materials to put it all together, that you need, that's your food. Your food is the, the, the materials and construction to build this amazing thing that is you. It is so important to make sure we're getting the right materials in our body, otherwise it just cannot work like it should. So often, we eat things that we shouldn't, which damages our insides. We're missing the ingredients that we need, like vitamin D and omega-3 fats and magnesium and so many, and good fiber from fruits and vegetables. We're missing these ingredients, so this intelligence with us, it can't express express health, it can't ex express immunity like it should. And that's why we see people with comorbidities that are obese and diabetes and heart disease that are more susceptible to death from viruses because they've been poisoning themselves. They're not getting the right ingredients in their body so that your innate intelligence, the intelligence with you, within you, 
can't express health like it should. Like it is so important and so undervalued. You know, so that's why when, when I see kids, I mean, when it, it starts the day of conception. Like the ingredients you put in your body are so important. Too often we poison ourselves with soda and chips and crackers and cookies and we're deficient in fruits and vegetables and omega-3 fats and vitamin D and we're, so we're poisoning ourselves and we're deficient and because of it our body breaks down, we're more, more susceptible to sickness, we get sick more often, we're low on energy, we don't look good, we don't feel good and then we blame our genes and we're, we're taught to get a medication to override those symptoms. You see the, the problem with that? Like once you understand how important what we eat is, I think we're more likely to do it. But nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it or explains it like this. And to me, the, the evidence is so clear on this. It's like why in Japan, which is over a third the size of America, have they had so few COVID deaths? Why do their citizens live so much longer than Americans? Are they have like some special blueprint, some special gene code? Or do they eat healthier diets? Do they exercise more? Do they live healthier lifestyles? That's the answer. If you took anyone from Japan, any kid from Japan, and brought them to the US and fed them the fast food, the chips, the soda, the garbage food that we typically feed our kids these days, would that person still have a life expectancy as if they were living in Japan? Of course not, not even close. Right? So the, the key we have to focus on is giving this amazing body that can do so many things, the right ingredients so it can function like it should. So I'm going to give you one really simple tip that you can start right away. So I know for many, many years uh, you've been taught via the government, just these crazy people that are wrong like all the time, to start your day with a muffin or waffle or some simple carbs, pancake, juice, whatever. So here's what happens when you start your day with that. The other thing, here's two tips I'm gonna give you. And then you'll hear people say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's like, who says that? Those studies came from breakfast food manufacturing companies. Very, very clever, very intelligent. By the way, what's really interesting is certain cartoons like a Rocky and Bullwinkle, they were developed by food, country, food companies. Like the whole purpose of the cartoon was to get your kids hooked on junk food, right? That's why to me it's insane that so many junk foods in the store are allowed to have cartoons and they're purposely targeting kids to get them to ask mom and dad to eat junk food, which poisons the, your system and your body can't work like it should. Like I would ban that in a second because I think it's criminal. But anyhow, one, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. The most important meal of the day is all of them and you should choose healthy for all of them. If you're not hungry in the morning, don't force yourself to eat. The other thing is with breakfast is you don't need to start your day with carbs. All right, here's what happens. You start with a cereal or muffin or a pancake or a waffle or toast or jelly or a glass of juice. It's a whole bunch of sugar that your body can digest really easily and really quickly. So you get a sugar spike and then it crashes and then mid morning at work, you're starving. And what are you craving more? Some juice, some soda, the chips, the cookies in the snack room, all the garbage in the snack room, rinse and repeat. You're far better off starting your morning with eggs or an avocado or meat and some nuts, some good protein with some healthy fats that burn slowly throughout the morning and keeps you full longer. And then studies have shown that people who start their day with like good protein and fat in the morning, if they eat the same amount of calories as like the sugary stuff, they just eat less throughout the day if you start your day with good healthy uh, proteins and fats. The other thing too is the nutrient density. When you eat like you know pancakes, waffles, muffins, all the, the typical American cereal, American breakfast foods, is you get a whole bunch of sugar calories with very little nutrition. When you eat good fats and proteins, you get calories but also loads of good nutrition plus Plus, this is so important. When you eat fruits and vegetables along with it, you get good water soluble fiber, which is food for your microbiome. Think about this. You got about 35 to 40 trillion cells to make you. You have that many bacteria cells living on and inside your body, especially in your gut. And that's what they eat is that good water soluble fiber, fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables. So, so very important. And these good bacteria help produce vitamin K and they help produce things that help your immune system, which makes your immune system stronger, which means you can fight off COVID and other viruses are trying to attack you. Think about this, on your body, this is how amazing your body is. You got 35 to 40 trillion cells, about the same number of bacteria, plus about 385 trillion viruses living on or in you all the time. It's amazing. It's like those numbers are, 
they're beyond our imagination. So I always love this. You go back in time a million seconds, 12 days, it's a long time. Go back in time a billion seconds, that's 32 years. That's how big that number is. Go back in time one trillion seconds, it's 32,000 years. It's crazy, like you have tens of trillions of these cells that make you, I mean, you're so freaking amazing. So my advice to you, with this is appreciate how freaking awesome you are, right? You're amazing. And treat your amazing body with love. Feed it good foods, right? Give it good exercise. Never ever punish yourself with exercise, right? Don't exercise because you ate a bad meal. Exercise because you have this amazing body, you love it, and you want to treat it well and you want it to last a long time. Give your kids good fruits and vegetables because you love them and you want their body to express its gene code to its maximum ability. Right? Get the junk food out of the house because you love them. They might not like it for the short time, but in the short term, but they're gonna love you in the long term when you create those healthy habits that last forever. All right, so I hope you found this valuable, and I hope, I really hope you appreciate like how amazing and complex and how like complex beyond imagination your body is, right? And I hope you like take that and feel like you want to feed it the best nutrition possible for you and for your kids.